Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing an underarm lightning facial. And what we want to do is just stay away from crazy, harsh chemicals and stuff that people typically use to like bleach and lighten the area. And we want to just keep this as simple as possible. So I did notice she had a little bit of deodorant on. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to cleanse as much of that as possible. If you guys decide to offer any type of service related to this, make sure you tell your clients ahead of time to make sure that they don't have deodorant on. Deodorant can be very clogging and we want to try to avoid that. So even though she doesn't have much hair there, I still want to make sure that my canvas is pretty nice and clean. So I'm still going to um, wax her. Um, it may pick up a few stranglers. It may pick up not much, but it's definitely going to help to exfoliate the area and make the process for me doing her facial a lot easier. Um, and because I want to pick up any stubborn or fine hairs or even hairs that are a little on the short side, um, I won't be using mermaid wax. I'll be using the black coral wax. I think this one is called Sand Beach. Um, and this one typically really picks up nice, um, nice amount of hairs and, you know, any size as well. So I'll just use that. And as you can see, I just, it's what's well, black. You can't notice, but just a thinner layer, just because there's not really much there. Um, and I want the strip to dry, um, you know, really fast. So always make sure you just ask your clients how the temperature feels, of course, when you apply wax on them to make sure that they're comfortable. And the goal, guys, is to make sure that my client is not in this position because, you know, this position tends to make you a little sore. Your arms start falling asleep. So, you know, we want to move as quickly as possible. So on average, you want to spend about 30 to 45 minutes um, doing an underarm facial. All right, so now that we've gotten the waxing out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and put some moisture on these underarms. Just, you know, wet the pad, um, the sponge, and just kind of wiped it real fast on her underarms. It's very important, as you guys probably know, water is the best moisturizer that you can give your skin or your hair on your head. Uh, we're using a turmeric cleanser here. Turmeric has great healing properties. It's great for um, dark spots and helping to brighten and lighten the area. And it's usually rich in vitamin C, which is also a great help. So I just want to kind of marinate it with my hands. And now I'm going to use um, this little spin facial brush. Now, I would never use this um, doing someone's vajayshal, but the underarm is a little different because you have a lot of, like, I just call it guck, you know, like, deodorant and sweat just kind of clogged up under there so we definitely want to make sure that we get all up in the crevices um, and in the pores um, to just detoxify and just remove all of that so nice circular motions is what you typically want when you're um, using this device and um, you want to make sure you always ask your client if it feels too rough or abrasive and then we would know to stop and then of course we're going to do the same thing on the other side because we want to try to get um, both underarms going during a facial um, and at some point I may give her a rest on one of her underarms but I want to do as much as possible so we'll just switch to the other side real fast I didn't wipe the other underarm because I just want that uh, you know that turmeric just to be nice and um, settled into her skin so we'll do this for a little bit and then we'll switch over to our next step I got the steamer running. Um, we're about to turn that on and get it cracking. So uh, stay tuned. Let's go. All right. So let's cleanse all of this off. And guys, if you haven't done so already, please make sure to um, comment on the video below and make sure you like and subscribe for future content. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed so far. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. So now you can see I have one of her underarms steaming. So while that one's steaming, um, I'm going to start prepping the other one. So as you guys know, steaming is a great way to moisturize the skin as well. It also helps to um, soften the skin. It opens the pores and enlarges them, and it makes it easier um, to extract and get things out. Now, on this opposite underarm here, guys, I am applying a apple lemon mask. Um, it has exfoliating enzymes in it. It's great for brightening and lightening, and it has natural antioxidants. This is going to be a great mask just to help really give that skin the glow that it needs. And you just want to make sure you get a nice full coverage on the dark areas. 
So while that's on that side of her underarms, I'm going to move on to the next side and try to get a little bit of the um, guck that's stuck in the pores and blackheads out. So I'm just using my little tool here and whatever I find, I'm just putting it on the sponge. Not too much, which is a great thing. So it always makes my job easier when the clients um, aren't as bad, you know, because then you spend so much time. And sometimes this can be painful, but I'm always checking in with the client to make sure that they feel comfortable and nothing hurts because sometimes they won't say anything. And it's important for my clients to know that I want them to speak up if they are in any kind of discomfort. All right, so now that that's done, I'm just gonna leave the steamer on, let it breeze on there. And we're going to just take basically half a lemon and start using that basically to exfoliate the underarm with a little bit of the turmeric wash. Um, that's going to help really bring out the vitamin C in the lemon um, and just kind of brighten the area. It's all about brightening, guys, so keep that in mind. Everything you use has to have some type of um, brightening purpose, right, to what we're doing. So as I'm utilizing this, I'm also squeezing it to make sure we get a lot of the lemon juice out because that's very important, guys. We want that uh, lemon juice to be on there, and it's really going to help brighten the area. So now that we've done that, guys, um, I'm, I still have my mask on. I'm going to proceed with doing um, a turmeric honey mask on this underarm. And then we're going to leave that on for a little bit as we transition to the other side and start um, kind of basically doing everything like a mirror. So it's like a mirror in reverse, basically, because like I said, we want to just keep moving because we want to make sure that we get all this done. So let's go ahead and take this off. And then um, what we can start doing is steaming that other side of her underarms. So there's no particular, you know, order as long as you make sure the steps are complete. That's what's most important, guys. So I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me. So <laughs> I'm telling you now, no particular order. So now what we're going to do is we are going to place some um, lemons on that underarm. And what I've done with the lemons is I've infused it with a little bit of vitamin C uh, serum. Just so it just starts like, you know, seeping into um, her pores. And I'll add another one. Just want to cover the whole area. So they're like really nice and juicy lemons. And I had them just, you know, soaking up um, in the serum. And so, you know, it just makes it easier. All right. So what we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and take this off. And look at that steamer, guys. It feels so relaxing. Sometimes I'm jealous that I, you know, get to spoil clients like this. I got to take care of myself this year. Definitely. All right. So now we're in reverse now. We have the apple lemon um, mask on that side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to begin um, removing all of the gunk and blackheads on this side of her underarms. And then one thing that you guys will notice is her underarms naturally um, are, it's, it's like so hydrated. It has a glow to it already. I think I get a really good blackhead out of here somewhere. You'll see it. Cause everything's kind of like white. Oh, there it is right there on the sponge. Everything's kind of white, but uh, cause you know, deodorant, but for the most part, you know, you just want to clean everything out. So you won't always get stuff, but you definitely should be getting a lot of deodorant. Um, and it's all about what kind of deodorant your clients use too. So I always try to tell them to not put so much on and to try to use more natural deodorants. And so just, you know, on this side, guys, with the lemon again and the turmeric wash, we're going to make sure that we basically scrub that on the arm, you know, marinate it. You even know if you look at my fingertips, I'm kind of squeezing the lemon because I want that you know, that juice to come out. All of that aestheticness just flowing onto her underarms. And this is something that I would recommend for my clients to do while they're at home as well. Um, it's great practice. So we'll put a little bit of the turmeric mask on this side. 
And then we should basically kind of be like all caught up. Not too much left to go. I'll put my uh, lemons here with my vitamin C serum and just let that seep in like I did on the other side. And just make sure that, you know, I check in with my client, make sure her underarms are okay. She did mention to me that her left underarm, um, her arm itself was starting to feel like it's falling asleep. So I told her, you know, hey, why don't you just go ahead and relax that underarm while I apply this hydro gel mask on this one. Um, that way, you know, she can take some of that discomfort, um, that, that discomfort away and just kind of relieve it a little bit. So I'm using the um, Brightening Complex and the Eliminating Orange Hydro Gel Mask because both of those masks are really, really good for lightening the area. Not only that, but remember this mask is super cold, so it's going to help um, close the pores and shrink them a bit. So I did add just for beauty, you know, my clients always want pictures, so I just put two slices of lemon on there. It looks good, don't it? it looks all cute. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so basically guys, these masks are really, really good, not just for, um, treating the skin, but also for helping to close and tighten the pores. So we're going to leave this mask on for about seven to eight minutes. So I'm just going to speed up the video real fast. So you guys don't have to watch that. It's my first time speeding, by the way. I'm still getting used to all of the editing. It's so hard. Sometimes I just wish I could pay someone, but that's ridiculous. All right, so we're just gonna cleanse the mask off. I took that side off. And um, we're going to now kind of rebuild the barrier with a little bit of vitamin C toner, guys. And then we're going to follow up with a, just a little bit more vitamin C serum. Just dab it in there and just kind of marinate it. And then if you want, you can always kind of wave that underarm so that it dries, so the client can relax that underarm. We're going to take these bad boys off. We're going to take this mask off. Remember, this mask does not hurt when you're removing it off your clients. It actually probably tickles them. And it just comes off nicely, you know. No mess, really. You probably got to clean a little bit around the borders, but that should be it. Nothing serious. You guys can purchase these hydro gel masks um, from Estimax. I think you do have to set, a, uh, set up an account with them. But once you just give them your license number, you're basically good to go. You can't even purchase it like for a higher price. You have to be a licensed esthetician in order to make a purchase. All right, so we're basically at the finish line here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get some toner on this side and a little bit of serum on this side. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm definitely excited about giving you guys so much content this year. I know I just started YouTube, but I have so many ideas and so much to share with you guys. So here's some before and after pictures of the left side and on the right side. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please, please make sure you like, comment, and more importantly, make sure you subscribe um, to my channel so you guys don't miss out on any more videos. You can also follow me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and um, TikTok, I have two channels now. So make sure you guys go and follow both of them. All right, guys. Thanks. And I will see you on the next video.